Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling a solo dolo on this Madden 20 Browns franchise rebuild. As always, playing offense only sim in that D, using that balanced playbook, and playing an all Madden arcade mode. So, here we are, we are week 8. So what are we, 6 games in? Uh, this will be our 7th game, which we have not been dominating. There's been at least 2 to three games where I want the last play of the game, so it's uh it's been a little challenging this year. Got Nate the Crook Oakland. He is our he is our uh, QB. Uh, he may not be after this season because he wants all the money. Got what I need, Michael Reed. He's good. Um, what's funny is and there's Roy, Mr. Danger Harvey. What is funny is I drafted Nate the Crook Oakland when. I had Baker Mayfield, and he, because I knew I knew it was gonna happen. Like it happens every time. Like I I get a quarterback for you know a big contract, four years, five years, whatever, and they start um, and they start getting good, and the next thing you know, they are uh, they're rated ninety nine, and then their and then their contract comes up, and then they want a seven year over 250 million dollar contract so they basically want over a quarter of a billion dollars uh over a seven year term or whatever which i just i don't know i'm just not gonna pay him that because i'm not taking that much of my because a lot of times the quarterbacks aren't that good and uh so yeah so what happened is in, in this game and i think this actually just started a little bit after the game came out too uh, in the off season, sometimes it'll it'll ask you if you want um, to extend a quarterback for another year, like put the fifth year option out there or whatever. And I did on this one, uh, and then so this so I had him for one extra year before I did negotiate. So this this season is actually that season. If not, I probably wouldn't have signed him last year. Um, but the other thing is, I I didn't I wasn't sure that this guy was going to be the future because when i brought him in i think for a couple games the year that uh ba it was baker's last year because i was like well if i'm gonna let this guy be the man i need to at least like use him a little bit to make sure he's not garbage and honestly he, he wasn't that good so i was worried so when i had uh had the draft that year i drafted a quarterback i believe maybe in the first round uh his name is nelson fitch and what's funny is he has a he has a four year contract because he was a draft pick. Well, now what's happened is uh, both of them, both of their contracts are due this year. And Nelson Fitch wants he's never played a down. He's my backup, and he wants I don't know something ridiculous like ten or fifteen million dollars a year. And then Nate the Crook he wants uh, he wants a quarter of a billion dollars or like forty million dollars a year or something. Not quite that much, but whatever. Um, but ironically, um, this past draft, there was a quarterback who had first-round talent that slipped. He was there in like the third, wow, second, third round or something like that. So I picked him, um, and he may end up being the quarterback next year uh, because both of those other guys want all the monies, and I'm not going to pay them. Oh, I thought he had it. So, yeah, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? So, it's, it, I have three quarterbacks on my team. I am not sure which one is going to end up being my quarterback next year. Uh, I mean, Fitch, or is it Fitch. I don't even know the guy's name, to be honest. I feel like he has the best chance because he has a contract. <laughs> the other two don't. And I can always sign another backup guy or whatever. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. So, we may be, like, changing quarterbacks, which is fine. Um... I like mixing it up. Usually, usually when I do these long franchises, I have. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Usually I end up. Oh god. I usually end up with like basically like rebuild and then like rebuild 2.0. Um, and usually, because it usually takes about five seasons. So what I'll do is like I start out with the group that starts with the team, and then uh, over time, we we all those guys end up gone. Uh, because their contracts are refreshing. Oh, there he is. He's open. And um, and then I have like a whole new set of guys that I've drafted in the meantime that may even be trash in the first five years. But by the time the five the five year has ended, 
a lot of those guys have elevated into starting positions, which are now, and then they have contracts that last for like five years, etc. And so it's like, it, so it ends up being like, yeah, like two two builds of the same team. But I don't mind mixing it up. I mean, we only have was this season eight, so I'm thinking I only have probably this season maybe one or two more. I think I only did ten last year. So I don't mind mixing stuff up. It's fine. Um, yeah. So that's uh, basically the story of what's going to happen with this team as a uh, as the season ends and we get into next year. Oh god, there we go. Oh, I, if you would have touched him. He would have not got me another one for a touchdown. You sob. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, God. I need to get this guy. He needs 150 yards or three touchdowns to get his next stat. Oh, he's wide open. There's one touchdown and a bunch of yards. He's Dennis the Hitman Hunt. Uh, he needs. Yeah, he needs. He's like they're, they, you know, they do that thing every so often where they're like, "Hey, get your get your friends excited to come and hang out with you." No, it's like no, it's a developmental trait because he's a star, I think. So now he'll be a superstar, but he needs three touchdowns or 150 yards. Oh, there's the flag. So um, yeah, dude. But um, it, right now, what's happening is I am uh, to the point where I should be um, canceling this. Uh, this game, well, not canceling, but sending out the rest of the game because I'm up by 21. But since I have like a goal, I'm gonna get that goal first. Um, because usually if I go up by 21 points, I'm like, okay, nobody's enjoying watching this, I'm not enjoying playing it. All right, there's a second touchdown, he needs one more, which I should be able to get him right after, uh, right after, right after the half. And I'm still up by a ton. Oh my god, really? I get the ball back again. I guess we'll do it again. We'll see if we can get him one more time. Here I come again. Here I come again. What did I do? Check 52. Oh, that works. They'll throw now on the final play. Hart, can you uh can you step up and get one more? Oh you can. Just splits them. How stupid is that? Alright, he got his three. Alright, cool. And I think that's a hundred yards too. Oh, he jumped on his back. Alright, cool. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, let me just make sure he got what he needs to get the um, to get his stats upgraded. God, the Patriots were really bad today, so that's fine. Uh, Patriots, Browns. We'll go to receiving. Yeah, three for one forty, three touchdowns. I don't. Jesus. All right, cool. Uh, so he's got it. So we will go ahead and we're up by thirty-two at halftime. Holy crap! Jump forward. Uh, end of game. So we'll do that. And we scored again. And we scored again. <laughs> Holy Jesus. And we scored again. And we scored again. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I feel like that too, friend. I feel like throwing everything in the garbage. Holy crap. So, God, we really, like, destroyed the crap out of them today. I mean, what a game so, to put up that number all right. Well, uh, that's the story of what's going to happen with my quarterback, which is basically a big I don't know. And uh, that is all the time after today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Send a friend our way. Have someone come check us out. It's greatly appreciated to uh, to help our channel grow. But uh, for Jonas, I'll catch you next week. I am.